All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and I've been talking MIT Zap Inventor 2 with you. And in the last video, we finished our version one of our guessing game. So I'm going to do another version where I'm going to add speech capabilities to it. Rather than starting over, I'm going to go to Projects, Project Save As, and I'm just going to call it GG2 for guessing game two. Okay? So, what I want to do is I want to come into my media and I want to add a text-to-speech component. Remember, this is a non-visible component, so regardless of where I drop it, it's going to fall down to the bottom here. All right? And we'll just, we don't have to, but let's change the name to text-to-speech GG for guessing game. Okay? Now, we're going to go back to our blocks and let's talk about the changes that we have to make. Well, let's see. We still want our global variable. That we still want. We still want our initialize to call random number. We still want, when we click the generate new number, we want it to call generate new number. We still have our guess. We still want that to happen. I'm going to grab this clear text box that we've been doing, and I'm going to pull that down here. In fact, as you can see, in how easy it is just to maneuver your stuff around in here if you want to. Remember, we talked about the fact that you can collapse these things also as well. So, there we go. There's my, in fact, let's, when you, so you can't really do that, where you grab a bunch of them. And again, maybe there's a way to do it, and I just don't know what it is. So, I'm trying to make my life a little easier here. So, I'm going to put my initialize here also. And up at the very top, I'm going to put my setting my random number, okay? Now, when we generate the random number, this isn't going to change either. So the good news is we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks of code, and to my knowledge, six of them are not changing. The one that will change is calculate guess, all right? And we're going to make several changes to this. Now, here we're saying, you know, where we've got our set, all we're doing is we're saying set and we're telling that it's too low. Well, I want to do more than that. All right, so I'm going to grab this, and I don't really want to use it anymore, so I'm just going to throw it away. All right, we'll, we'll end up doing it for the other ones too, but let's just do them one at a time. So what I want to do here is I want to come in and I think it's under here. We want to do what's called a join because I want to be a little more specific to the user as far as what's going on here. All right, and what I want to join in fact, let's move this out and let's let's put in I guess I just threw it out, but that's okay. So let's go back in here to text not the text, I'm sorry. Let's go back in here to our label. It's got a result in it. Label result. And let's go back and let's, we will be setting the text, but we're going to set it again in just a little bit different way. Do we still have that in there? Text, if it's less than. All right. And then we want to set the result text to... Yes, we can leave it like this. We're going to end up doing another join. All right. So right here, in there, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put in a text component. Well, boy, that's what happens when you try doing things too fast. So we want to put in a text component first. And that text component, we're going to be a little more specific with what our message is. So I'm going to say here the guess of with a space, all right? Then we want to do another join right in here. So I'm going to do another text and I'm going to find the join again and I'm going to drag it in here. All right? And now we want to do a get of our text 
of whatever our guess was. So our text to guess. And we want to grab, we want to get that. We don't want the text color, I'm sorry. There it is. So now it'll say something like the guess of 57. All right. And we want to say here was too low. So the difference is, now we'll let the user know what guess they actually made, which I think at least is a little bit nicer. All right. But before we clear the text box, we're going to make another call in here. And what we want to call I think it's one of these we want to put in here. So that'll go right. Why isn't that flipping in there? I'm going to just grab this calculate guess and I'm going to flip that in there. But what we want to call in here, and I guess this isn't right after all, we want to call the text to speak. All right, and that is this. There we go, that's what we want. And the message we want it to have. is whatever was in our label, all right? Because we just filled up our label, result label. So let's play computer here. Think about what you're doing. So let's say the number is 50 and we put in 40. So it's going to end up checking it and it's going to say, is the number we put in 40 is it less than 50 which is our goal number right yes it is so we're going to say the guess of 40 was too low and then we're going to speak it also all right now i don't have to do this but i'm going to just grab this i'm going to start plucking things out of here and i'm going to do a uh, in just a minute i'm going to end up doing a duplicate so i want to duplicate everything that's in here Got this, and this, and this, and this. So now we have to change our less than sign to a greater than sign. So now we say the guess was too high. And then finally, <clears throat> we want to do it one last time that says, you guessed the secret number type of thing. All right, so again. There's no check to be made, so we want to say, you guessed the secret number of. You guessed, oops, you guessed the secret number. And then let's put just an opening parenthesis, and then we'll have our guess, and then we'll put here, whoops, and we'll say congrats. Right. We want to call our whoop, 
see a mistake I made here. We don't want to, we want to put our speech first, then call our clear text box. Okay, so again, I want to grab this and duplicate it, put it in here, grab this and duplicate it, and put it right here. Now, what I did may confuse you. I don't want it to, but it may anyway. So let's run through the game and see what's happening now. Let's see if we get our speech, all right, and if it indeed jives or correlates with what we have in the box, in the label right here. So let's come in here and again, let's try 50. All right, hopefully you can hear that. It said the guess of 50 was too low. And I, I'm checking here. There should always be spaces in here, and I didn't put them in. So stuff is running together. All right. Just, again, I'm starting to make cosmetic changes. When you get to that point, the program's looking pretty darn good. So let's try it again. So 50 was too low. Alright. The guess of seventy seven was too low. The guess of eighty eight was too high. The guess of eighty two was too low. The guess of eighty five was too low. You guessed the secret number eighty six. Congrats. Okay, so you can see I've added that now. The only thing I don't like is the fact that where this breaks. I'm going to go back and make one more change, and I'm pretty much finished then. So let's go back in the blocks. Just going to change it to you guess the secret number like that. Again, I'm I'm now playing with aesthetics in the program. Once you get, you get to that point. It's looking pretty darn good. The, guess of 50 was too low. the only thing that concerns me about this program is that every number that it's generating appears to be more than 50, and that shouldn't be the case. The guess of 77 was too low. The guess of 88 was too high. Maybe it's because I got to click the generate new number button, and I didn't do that. That probably is the case here. You guessed the secret hash, 86. Oh, and it Congrats. says hash there instead of number. Okay, one more change and then we'll fix it. We'll be ready and I know what the problem was. So let's go back into the blocks. And it said hash because that's all it knew. So you guess the secret number. We'll say here of and congrats. Oops. So I'm going to come back. Now I'm going to be smart enough to remember to click my generate a new number. All right? The guess of 50 was too All right, high. good. You guessed the secret number of 37. Congrats. So you see what's going on. All right, so what we've done in these two examples is we've come in here and we first created a guessing game. And again, our original guessing game there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. It had good functionality. It worked, which is an important thing. And it had a label up here for the title, another label here to tell the person what to do, a text box, which had a hint in it, two buttons, an image, and above that image, it had another label. So we would guess the secret number. Once we guessed it and clicked check guess, all right, it would either tell us in this cyan area, the guess was too high, the guess was too low, or you got the secret number. Plus, in this example, we also put the number in there so the person could remember 
what number they had generated. There's a lot of ways this, this, that this program could be supplemented or added to. We could have made a counter that figured out how many guesses that we had. Really wouldn't be very difficult. We'd make another global variable. We'd make sure that each time we made a guess, we incremented that global variable. And we'd also have to make sure that with that global variable that um, we would have to make sure that with that global variable that when we click the clear button we would reset that to zero. But I think that's something that you should now be able to do on your own. So I'm going to come back and uh, I'm not sure exactly what we'll be doing next, but we'll be writing another app in just a couple minutes.